Today would have been his 48th birthday, but instead his family gathered by his grave under the warm spring sunshine almost 25 years since his passing to replace an inaccurate headstone. Scott was in Rwanda and that's where he passed away, uh, but there's nothing stating that on the headstone. He was only 23, serving with Canadian forces in Rwanda when Corporal Scott Fraser Smith died by suicide. While serving in the forces, his family says he was given the anti-malarial drug methloquin, and it is to blame for his death. He was having the hallucinations, he was having these rages, and then all the guys called it, if they took the pill on, on the Tuesday, they called the next day Wacky Wednesday. Like, I talked to him, like, I think three days before he killed, killed himself, and I was, and all he was talking about was going home. Dave Bona is one of the many veterans who came from across Canada to be here. Bona served with Smith and says he never knew him to have any health problems until after Smith started taking methylquin. When we went to uh, Rwanda, the symptoms just got worse. Like his anxiety and paranoia and stuff was just, he was struggling. Bona says he has suffered his own mental health issues due to mefloquin. He's not the only veteran here who says the drug has caused problems. And these dreams are, um, I would describe them almost as an alternate reality. I, I Philip Scott Brooks was also given mefloquin while serving in the forces, and he says it caused disturbing dreams and suicidal thoughts. He, along with Bona, are part of a new series of lawsuits expected to be filed this week against the Canadian government, alleging they were poisoned by military-issued mefloquine. We want uh, the government to acknowledge it. Then they can actually devote some money for uh, research, and they can develop safe, effective treatments for this. Smith's family is not involved in the lawsuits, but his aunt says she hopes an acknowledgement of the dangers of mefloquine will be part of his legacy. Our, our real goal is to save lives, so this doesn't happen again. Now, in the 1990s, mefloquine was commonly prescribed to Canadian soldiers before being deployed to areas where malaria was prevalent. But it's no longer used as a preferred medication. A 2017 Health Canada report found limited evidence that it can cause long and permanent effects. But the company that makes mefloquine attaches a warning label on the drug, cautioning against potential side effects. But Nicole, Canada isn't the only country with veterans concerned about mefloquine. Its use has been scrutinized in the U.S. and by militaries around the world. Life is free.